All right, good morning, YouTubers. Uh, getting ready to go later than I want to go, as always. It's 10.30. Um, I'm in Berga, and I'm gonna go through Marquette, and either gonna go to Christmas or to the bridge. I haven't decided, it'll probably be Christmas. Um, I'm in no super big rush. I want to start off just showing like, hey, he's a person again, and Vinny's still hiding under the bed. I've done all my checks. Letting Eddie warm up. I'm gonna get some gas. We're overcast again. So I don't know how well the the GoPro is gonna do out the windshield, but it is what it is. Um kind of sad night. The Yankees lost, but at least they didn't have Houston celebrating at the stadium. But I don't know. I was sad for a while, but back in the day, this used to be like I'd be down for a month. So I started realizing, sure, you want your team to win, but you have nothing to do with it. And like people getting mad at college football, they're 18 to 20 year old kids. You know what I mean? Relax. So I'm going to turn this around here in a second and we'll film going out. I'm inflating my air ride again. I think for me it's always been this way you try to remember back I've had it for a few years now and uh, when he sits I lose my air pressure in the airbags I don't know if that's normal I haven't found any answers on the internet web <laughs> worldwide net web but yeah I'm gonna go check everything for the third time just to be safe start seeing animals show up but uh i guess my i don't know if i already said it tires are good tires are good i have to get used to that i need this off so i can get the uh gopro rattled around when you listen to that. a lot of people ask why my wipers don't reach you know why i have to move it from here well i don't like having it in my line of view so I put it off in the corner, but on these Dodge Ram vans, the uh, the wipers don't actually go all the way to the edge. I guess I could get some extended or something like that, but oh no, we're fogging up a little bit. All right, that's gonna help. Let's see when Vinny gets here. Away we go. Gas first. Did I say three times that I checked my tires? That's gonna be a new thing for a while. I never uh, had that issue at a garage before. But the colors are pretty. They were prettier a little while ago. But the sun kind of receded. Here comes Vinny. How you doing, Vincenzo? All right, buddy. Get ready to watch where you go. And turn around, and there you is. The tires were 25 pounds low after an oil change at the dealership. Turn my lights on, it's hazy enough. Lucky there was no tire damage, and it drove kind of weird, but I've never had a garage do that. All right, I got some ramble topics, and if I go on like that long one I went on, which is now a while back, um, I'll have to cut it up because I don't want it to be forever long. Lucky again. Made it. Hi, Keek. Come on, girly. All right, here we go. Hopefully. I didn't put my gas cap back like I'm an old man or something. No offense to old men, not age shaming. See, 239. That's seven cents a gallon. I'll save seven cents a gallon. Vin, I hate to do this to you, brother, but you gotta get off. Come on. Come on. 
minutes. Just a second, dude. All right, I put the cap in. I screwed the cap back in, you know, because it's old and it's still got a cap. New cars don't have caps. But I didn't close the little latch. Okay, Ben. Here we go. You can come back now. He's like, what the hell? So, Ramble 1, which I'm sure makes sense, a question people might have. Why do you pee all the time? Which is a valid and good question. Um, let me get everything situated. I'm messing up mirrors and shit. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Why do you pee all the time? Well, it's relatively close for me. I tend to... It seems like I do one sometimes two big long trips a year like this past summer it was all the way around lake superior the year before that it was all the way out to the dakotas done down to key west for the winter some longer trips then i tend to do other you know month two to three weeks maybe one or two of those and then some shorter trips i try to go out in this thing every month rain wind shine heat all that good stuff i try to go do it but the up is relatively close you know for me and this one long day of driving and i'm over the bridge you know and that's that's not too bad and i guess it's the familiar i guess it's kind of knowing some places that i like and then being able to branch out from there. Again, I've said in many videos, it's never how I thought I was going to do all this, but as you do your RV and thing, you'll find out what you like. I used to, I had years where traveling for me always had to be a race. You know, I always had to go fast and didn't have time. And I see some other YouTubers, and everybody's got to do it their way where it's drive, 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 drive. Well, I've gotten to the point where I like to do shorter days of driving and then be able to actually be in an area for a day or two. I've, I've really gotten to where I think two days in a spot, even when you're on the move, is good. Because one day you get there and you're not doing much, but then one full day of being in that area to explore it a little bit. I found that I enjoy that. So that makes your travels take longer. But I had so many years of those race trips where you're driving and you're know, like, oh, I'm missing this, I'm missing that, I know I'm missing, you know, there's um, St. Berga or Pastor Berga or whatever. I didn't do it this time, but I went up there once and checked out the whole statue to him and read the history on it, most of which I've forgotten. But when you go to areas, I found I have enjoyed that more. So these trips to the UP for me in southern from southern Ohio, they're they're almost like quick trips now. Because seriously one big day of driving there and one big day of driving back and then it's mostly you know just three four hours a day you know not not super long drives all right i'll give you some time lapse hey there's an ambo for sale somebody was just talking about reconditioning an ambo i think that would be cool those are tough strong vehicles but again, pieces, parts, if you want to get it set up with all the things that a pre-made Class B has, there's a lot of pieces, parts, and they get expensive. All right, all right, now time lapse. Look at that sky. I wonder if I speed this up, if it'll look cool. Or look at those trees. I wonder if I speed this up, if those will look just blurry colors. We shall see. Hope you enjoy. Oh yeah, music too.
they can't be a big fan of Ohio right now because Michigan's looking rough again. Or TTUN, that team up north. With the Yankees losing, at least the Buckeyes look good. But again, I've I've gotten so different. I used to involve my life. I bought the DirecTV to get the Sunday ticket to watch football. Now I I watch whatever's on if I remember to watch it. Oh, when I pulled out of the casino, I meant to say I don't think I said it right across the road was that lumber yard and I got a lot of sawdust. I should be good for life. <laughs> to make my fire starters. I was running low. If you're not a woodworker, it's not always easy and you live in a city, it's not always easy to find sawdust. That little area was actually an old Ford town. I guess back in the day, Henry Ford would build little towns, you know, company towns to build his cars and do whatever. I think there's a museum there now or something or a little, you know, historical thing, but I've never stopped. Video got way longer than expected, so there's gonna be part two. It might even be better than part one. Have a great and wonderful day. Okay, another break from it, but it's gotten pretty windy.